Hi fellows and welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Old Rusty part 3. Meanwhile I've got Rusty in the barn or in my workshop and we are about ready to take off the cabin because the cabin is in a real real bad state. And you'll see that in a few minutes because the sills are totally rotten away so structurally it doesn't have any support anymore. Uh, so we need to take the cabin off uh, to do all the body work and all the panel work on it. And we'll have to be a bit careful on how we're going to do it because uh, we will have to lift it on the top on the cabin on both sides. But then again, it's so rusted that it may actually be, be quite risky to pull it off that we may actually deform it too much. So really all what we got to do is disconnect a few bolts and you'll see that while I'm going along. I'm not going to explain you where all the bolts are, but basically there are four bolts on each corner of the cabin. And then uh, there's a few other little things. You will have to remove the, uh, the cables and the wiring that you have inside the, the firewall. Uh, we take the nose off, all these little things we have to do. But it's not that much work and I'm not going to spend your time on that, uh, showing you all that, unless you have a truck like this one. Uh, so, okay, so let me get on uh, with the work and then we'll see where we get today. So let us first remove the seeds inside the cabin. So let's have a look. So let's take off the bonnet. Okay, these screws are in now. Let me undo the other one. Yeah. Almost done. Okay. So, we should be able to lift up the bonnet now. Now let's see, oh, I should be able to get this off. The radiator is already disconnected, so that's not a problem. On this side as well. So I should be able to lift the whole part off now. No, I'm not. It's still stuck somewhere. Looks like it's just a line. Not sure what the wire is. Now we should be able to lift it off. Okay, here we go. That's the radiator. So, so far, so good. So next is to disconnect the bulkhead and all the cabling that we have over here because that will have to go. Okay. So there's a couple more things we'll have to do. We'll um, have to disconnect the uh, speedometer cable. The throttle cable is already done. Um, there's some more cabling that we have to remove here. And then we have more linkage, in, uh, which is the gas paddle, the brake cylinder. I probably need to remove that. So let's see how that is going to go. Yeah, so we'll have to remove the brakes um, and all the cabling on this side. So once we've got all this removed, uh, we will be able to lift off the cabin uh, after I've undone two more big bolts on the bottom. So let me get on with this. Well, let's spray those a bit because they've been on this vehicle for so long that you might not get them off otherwise. All right, old Rusty, let's give it a try. And sometimes you have no choice than grinding off the bolts because some of them are so rusted away that you have no other option than grinding it. So I will have to be very careful when I'm lifting it off that I don't damage it any further. So I probably will need to grab it under there and underneath this one and then just kind of trying to not sure how I'm going to lift it to be honest um, I probably could lift it on the edges 
that seems to be okay. All right, so two more bolts and we are done. Okay, so uh, we'll pull old Rusty a bit forward so we can actually lift off the cabin. Because where it's sitting right now, I don't have a support beam on the ceiling. So we um, have put the cables up and we are ready to lift off the cabin. Just curious to see how that will go, but um, we'll see. All right, so let's give that a shot. I'm just gonna try to stand on the side so I can see what happens. So rotten. The whole bottom side is really, really gone. So this is going to be quite a bit of work. So how are we going to keep this up? So, so far, so good. So now, I need to move the tractor forward uh, so I can lower down the cabin or I can move it backwards as well. Um, you gotta see how I can best do this. Turn it. So fellows, we've got the cabin off the chassis and it was quite a job, um, a lot of rust and uh, nuts and bolts we had to cut off, but we did it. So old Rusty really deserves his name, I would say. Um, the part you see on the ground is the part that fell off, rusted away. And if you look in the back, let me turn this a bit so you can see it. So if you look in the back, you can see where it was sitting. That's where it was sitting and it's completely rusted away. So we will have quite some welding to be done to put this part uh, back in. Uh, the sills are completely gone. The inner sill, the outer sill, gone completely. So we have to re-weld it. The support points here, I don't even know where they are. I mean, they were gone already uh, when I took it apart. But the good thing is the doors themselves are recoverable so we can rebuild that in fact we will rebuild the whole thing I mean it's not that we're not gonna rebuild it and the firewall is very well intact so I'm quite happy with the firewall because that still looks very good um, and we have the support sitting here and they didn't move so that's the good thing so I'm going tomorrow I'm gonna make a rig where I can rest the, the cabin on so we can line it out and then we can start making the parts so uh, I'm going to call it a day because it's near to midnight and I'll see you in my next video guys.
I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.